We all deal with it in our families. Everybody we know, and I'm sure every one of us has someone that's addicted to alcohol, cigarettes, which is a drug, and any type of opiate, cocaine, it's an issue, and we need to address it. The policing, we've asked the policing to address it because most people in this town want something done. They don't want to sit on it. We need to say our schools, you have to address it more, and they have been trying to do that. But we have to have a multifaceted. This is a springboard for us to do that. It's a springboard for us to find out data on how to approach everybody, data to say, oh, look, that house is doing actually a lot of drugs out of it. Maybe we can do something about it. In um, Rutland, Vermont, they start a Project Vision. It encompasses almost every entity in that town. Social services, DCF, their churches, the uh, emergency medical, all kinds of community people are involved. They sit there every two weeks and discuss it at the police department. What can they do? But the police department gathers data, and now they're able to focus on a certain area so they can take care of that. They can address it. They dropped their crime rate by 49%. Now, we're not going to drop it that much, but even if we drop it by 5 or 10%, we're going to see a difference. But we need to take care of it now. We can't wait down the road and see more of our young people and our older people. I've sat in drug rehabs five times, and there are people in their preteens, teens, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60s, and 70s are dealing with this drug addiction. And you know what? They graduated someone 86 from Burlington that was addicted to heroin. So we sit here, do nothing, we're at fault. We sit here, we make a, even if it's a small point, we're going to get there. And I just think that we need to support this action. We need to take action. An experiment to boost state police presence in Londonderry has gone well enough that town officials have indicated an interest in extending it for another six months. An uptick in crimes and break-ins, some of it linked to drug activity, prompted the town select board to work up an agreement with the state police for 25 hours per week of a dedicated patrolling earlier in 2016, following a favorable vote during Londonderry's town meeting that March. That would be in addition to the regular routine patrolling the state troopers, based out of their Westminster barracks, are already doing. A special nine-member citizen task force, organized to analyze the town's policing needs, has recommended continuing with the contract signed with the state police following last March's town meeting, and which cost the town $86,000. The new contract would call for the same 25 hours a week of dedicated patrolling for $86,000, and the measure got a thumbs up during a meeting of the town's select board Monday, December 19th. This followed an earlier information meeting held last October, where most of the residents who weighed in seemed to be in favor of continuing with the program, although some concerns were voiced at the time about overtime costs. Mary Ann Morris is one of the members of the Special Police Committee. would be kind of whenever uh, the state police decided they were going to be there. Yeah, well, be... we're not going to give you a schedule of when they're <laughs> going to be there. We're going to try to keep pe people guessing. The contract explicitly says that we want varied hours and amounts of hours throughout the week. And um, and and that they're not, and that it's not to just be sitting and waiting for for people to be, go speeding by or for motor vehicle mm -hmm. stops. Although there are plenty of motor motor vehicle stops, most of them end in a warning. And what we want is for the law enforcement to be seen driving around the back roads in our community, at community events, and things like that. What we do know, because we have surveyed the community, is that people have a greater feeling of safety. Our parks don't feel like there's drug deals happening all the time. People feel more comfortable. This is what they're saying in the survey and what they're saying around town. People feel more comfortable going to the parks, going to do their business around town after hours. So there's that just sense of comfort. Mm. There has been an uptick in, re in people calling for services and, and and police responding to services in this year that we've had them, or almost a year that we've had law enforcement services. Um, but I, I, it's tough to draw any direct co correlations. So what we wanted to achieve, though, is that, that feeling of safety, that presence in the community so that people who are dealing drugs or doing illicit activities don't feel comfortable doing those in our community. And we feel like we've been successful at that. Approval of the new contract will be considered during Londonderry's town meeting next March, and if approved, a new six-month contract with the state police would go into effect. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever. Now open for a vote on Article 9.